We're talking about Microsoft Office Picture Manager today, and it's available in Office 2010, 8, 7, back at least that far. The way that you get to it is you right click on the image you'd like to edit, go ahead and click on Open With, and then Microsoft Office 2010, which really doesn't tell you anything about image editing, but that's where it's located. Click on that and your image shows up in a very small, neat, and tidy imaging program. And that's why I like it. There's not a whole lot going on in this program. If you click on Edit Pictures, this is where all the action is happening. And if you click on this button here, it will either give you the links there, or you can click on the links for editing here. What's nice about this program, too, is in most of the tools, there are many auto options followed by manual options. Right off the bat, you have auto correct, and if you don't like the result that gives, you can always click on undo. As you click on undo, 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 and further back, it removes your changes one by one. So if we click on brightness and contrast, once again, there's an auto brightness, and then there are some manual options down here. Same thing goes with color, auto option, manual options, and usually sliders available here or some uh, up and down buttons. Go to crop, and it's as simple as just grabbing your image and cropping it this way, saying OK. But there are some manual options as well here. One of the things that I really like to use in this program is resize. Some of us don't know that we really need to be sizing our images for different areas, like documents, like the web, and like email. So whether you're putting it on Facebook, or you're putting it on a website or a WordPress page, or you're sizing it just for email, it's good to know that you can do it quickly here by just choosing one of these options. And if I go ahead and say email small there, and then I say OK, you can actually see that it shows small here. And if that's too small, you can always click Undo and make another selection. There's also Custom Width and Height and Percentage of Original Width and Height. One of the other things available here is Compress Pictures uh, for documents, web pages, and email messages as well. This is a great little program. It comes with Microsoft Office 2010 and a few other versions below. And if you want to make simple but not hugely artistic changes to your images, then this might be the program for you.